you know what I just found? This is the very first autumn leaf this year. And you know what that means? Right, it's time to go north. If you've been following my YouTube channel for a bit longer now, you might already know I'm a huge fan of Scandinavia. Well, not only Scandinavia, the whole part of Northern Europe to be precise. In fact, my very first real solo trip ever was to Stockholm in Sweden and since this experience I tried to go to Northern Europe at least once a year. In 2016 I went to Iceland, in 2017 I went on a road trip through Norway, last year I visited Denmark and southern Sweden and you're absolutely right, there is still one quite important country missing and that's where we are going today. Let's go to Finland. My plan is to go to a Finnish region called Lapland. You might know this region because it allegedly is the home of Santa Claus and it's also the home of hundreds and thousands of reindeers. My plan is to go there not with an airplane because that would be just boring, right? No, the journey is the destination. So let's combine this trip with a four-day road journey through four countries. Germany, Denmark, Sweden and Finland. My name is Matthias. I'm a solo traveler from Germany. This is my car <laughs> and this is our four-day road trip from Germany to Lapland. <laughs> Holy f there is a car burning. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Have you seen that? So, I'm on the road and as you can see, I decided to start my little road trip in the evening for a good reason. Uh, because driving during the day on a German highway, trust me, it's a near-death experience. The people are driving like insane uh, and especially uh, around Hamburg there are always huge traffic jams uh, if you want to go north so I decided to drive in the evening and I'm pretty sure it's much more quiet on the road. The next exciting thing that will happen today is the border crossing, the border crossing between Germany and Denmark. This is actually the very first time I'm leaving this country uh, since all these COVID vaccination regulations started in the EU. I'm fully vaccinated since a few weeks now um, I have my certificate on my mobile phone but I've never used it before so I really hope it works I really hope <laughs> the guys on the border will let me in with my certificate actually it should work and we will see if not I'm screwed then my road trip is over <laughs> Welcome to Denmark. Woo! This was actually super easy. Yeah. Uh, in fact, there was a border control, so it would not have been possible to enter the country without a vaccination certificate or at least with a test. The border control was quite easy. There were two guys, two friendly guys, and um, yeah, they checked my passport and then they checked my mobile phone with the QR code. And then they took some notes, obviously. I don't know why. I think it was some kind of registration or something that I'm in the country now with a certificate. I don't know, but yeah, everything worked fine. I'm in Denmark and uh, yeah, that's a good start 
for this road trip. <laughs> Ziel erreicht. Boxes. One of those is mine. Perfect. Ah, hello, here we are. I just arrived in a Danish town called Kolding. Um, this is the place I'm gonna spend the first night. Uh, this is some kind of a sports motel or something it actually also smells a bit like sports <laughs> um, anyway uh, it's a bit basic as you can see here nothing special you have to make your bed yourself <laughs> i've never seen that before um, anyway i think for just one night it's perfect so good night Good morning. So, breakfast time. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, the hotel was so basic um, that there was also no breakfast. Um, but that doesn't matter because I got these two beauties. Two beautiful Danish sandwiches uh, from a bakery uh, that looked really modern, uh, really great. Okay, okay, look at this. Holy Mother Mary. Okay. Mm. <laughs> this is a sandwich with um, pulled pork or something, <laughs> so with meat, but the bread is more like sweet. That's a combination I haven't tried yet. <laughs> mm, tastes interesting. So, it's time to move on and the plan for today is quite obvious. We are going to Sweden. Uh, and there are different options to go to Sweden. The first option is to take a ferry from Germany to Sweden, which I obviously didn't do because I'm already in Denmark. The second option would be to take a ferry from Denmark to Sweden, which I also won't do. Instead, I've chosen the third option and that's a bridge. Well, it's actually two bridges and this option is also not that much cheaper than a ferry because you have to pay for them. Um, anyway, uh, let's go to Sweden. <laughs> the bridges I'm talking about are called Storbelt Bridge and Uresund Bridge. The last one is also known as the world's longest cable state bridge for cars and trains. It connects the Danish capital Copenhagen with Sweden's town Malmö. And there is another architectural aspect which is quite interesting. The Öresund connection is actually not just a bridge, it's a combination of a bridge, an artificial island and a tunnel. This is because the Copenhagen airport is nearby, the bridge on that side would have hindered the air traffic when it was built, so the Danes and the Swedes got a little creative. If you want to pass those bridges, you have to pay 85 euros for both of them if you drive with a normal car. This is in fact not cheap, but the ferry also costs between 60 and 90 euros during the day, so it's basically the same. There are two toll stations where you have to pay. Here you have to be a bit careful to choose the right line. There is one for cash payment, one for credit cards and one line if you have pre-booked. Well, and if you have passed the Öresund bridge, you're basically in Sweden and have to show your COVID pass again. Well, or maybe not. Okay, 
that was easy. <laughs> I'm in Sweden. <laughs> Obviously, uh, Sweden still has the loosest COVID rules. I don't know. Uh, they didn't even want to see my uh, vaccination certificate. They only want to see my passport. Yeah, I don't mind. Hello, Sweden. Hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, it's you again. <laughs> yeah, you obviously reached the end of this video, but this is not the end of my road trip. If you want to see part number two, then you should definitely subscribe to this channel now and ring the bell so you won't miss any upcoming video. If you liked this video, what the actual f If you liked this video, then please leave a thumbs up and you can also check out the Patreon link in the description if you like to support me and my work. But that's it for today. Have a safe journey and see you next time.